Terrigium is a worldwide disease and its incidence is more in tropical and subtropical areas. India being a tropical country where heat and dust are an environmental synonym is an ideal home for Terrigium. Terrigium is a triangular fibrovascular sub-epithelial ingrowth of degenerative bulbar conjunctival tissue encroaching onto the cornea. The exact cause of pterygium is not well understood. However, long-term exposure to sunlight, especially ultraviolet rays and chronic eye irritation from dry, dusty conditions seem to play an important role. In severe cases, a pterygium can grow into the central cornea which can induce irregular corneal astigmatism resulting in visual loss. Pterygium can be classified as type 1. Pterygium extends less than 2 mm on the cornea. Type 2. Pterygium extends 2 to 4 mm on the cornea. Type 3. Pterygium extends more than 4 mm over the cornea. Currently available techniques of securing conjunctival autograft are either with sutures of fibrin glue or with autologous fibrin. Suturing autograft to sclera prolongs operating time and is associated with drawbacks such as post-operative discomfort and suture related complications whereas fibrin glue can cause hypersensitivity reaction and the risk of viral transmission remains. Cost is also a concern with commercially available fibrin glue use. We presented a no suture, no glue technique of conjunctival autograph for primary pterygium in 2011 using autologous fibrin. We are presenting a cut, trim, paste technique of no suture, no glue, no autograph, a new surgical approach to primary pterygium using superficial conjunctiva overlying the pterygium as an autograph. Ongoing research has shown that the superficial conjunctiva overlying the pterygium appears to be normal. This is a case of type 3 pterygium. Peribulbar anesthesia is given. The pterygium site is irrigated with trepan blue. It has two advantages. First, it stains the epithelial surface and hence allows for easy identification of graft site. Two, incisions are well made out due to pooling of the dye over the incision. Using a marker pen for marking incision is time consuming and cumbersome. Also, availability of trepan blue is not a problem as it is routinely used in cataract surgery. A castrovijo caliper is used as a marker to mark four points and to measure the size and extent of the autograph two points near the surgical limbus and two points at the periphery by a firm pressure with the tip of the instrument over these points. Tenens free limbal based superficial conjunctiva overlying the pterygium is carefully excised and the graft is prepared. The head of the pterygium is excised using avulsion technique with colibri's forceps and any remnant tissue removed with Tuck's corneal knife. The body of the pterygium and subconjunctival tissue is dissected, excised. At this stage, graft is moved to the bare scleral bed. A thin layer of fresh blood is required over bare sclera to provide autologous fibrin. If no blood is available, Small perforating veins or capillaries are purposefully ruptured with Hoskins forceps. 
Any excess bleeding is cauterized. A drop of povidin iodine is instilled at the end of surgery and speculum is gently removed. Eyelids are closed with the help of Hoskins forceps taking care not to dislodge the graft. This is a case of type 2 pterygium with cataract. This is a case of type 1 double headed pterygium. This is a case of type 3 double headed pterygium. Advantage cut, trim, paste, no recurrences seen, at mean follow up for 4 months, excellent cosmesis, cost effective and requires less operating time, no risk of complications due to fibrin glue or sutures, no additional surgical trauma at normal site for conjunctival autograph saves normal conjunctiva for future use, tissue available as autographed from same eye in double-headed pterygium. Study limitations, not recommended for recurrent pterygium, long-term follow-up needed to report recurrences. We have raised the bar higher.